Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D, Live News. And I'm here to give you the live news, and man, yo. <laughs> yo, shout out to KB, man. KB, what I'm about to play, y'all, is KB going in on academics. Now, academics was recently on Fresh and Fit, and he was talking very disrespectfully to a couple of women. And I don't think KB appreciate that. So what I'm about to play is KB just pretty much just going off on academics for disrespecting women. So uh, I'm just going, hey, and I got to do this in two parts because the first part, he was just, you know, he was warming up. But on the second part, yo, he really went in on DJ Academics. So the so this is the warm up. But the next video that I'm going to play is when he really went in on DJ Academics. So uh, sit back and enjoy. Shout out to KB. Woo-wee. Y'all leave a comment down below. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. We're going to get into this goddamn. We're going to get into DJ Academics real quick, y'all. Because I don't understand this shit. So I'm going to play it through. I'm going to play it through. And then i want to get my commentary again i don't know what i'm gonna do because when i saw it i was so flabbergasted i said what in the fuck is going on here i gotta find the part that i'm supposed to be at because there's so many parts that's crazy i'm like what in yeah. the so, then, uh, hmm. so like the ego is this is all fresh and fit salute to fresh and fit this is their original content uh i want to play some of the audio fair use uh I need to go to stream yards and play this shit and get some of that music going. Hold on. Let me get some of my music going. And I'm not going to be like the other YouTubers that uh, play a nigga audio, disrespect them the whole time. This don't got nothing to do with Fresh and Fit. This got everything to do with uh, DJ Academics. Uh, I think this high value man shit has been watered down. Being a man that has daughters, uh, for these niggas not to understand that regardless of whether you have money or not, you used to have to court a woman. You used to have to earn a woman's affection and love. Uh, part to do with this is because a lot of people are liking women that are prostitutes. And it's hard for women out there that are trying to be of some standards and of some morals because so many men now just want to go ahead and just hit real quick and bitch, you, uh, bitch, fuck that shit. I ain't trying. After three dates, you meet a man after about three dates of him taking you out. If you ain't done fucked by then, he, yeah. It's over with because they done made it so like sex is so it mean nothing no more. So you have a lot of these men that are mimicking, mimicking what they thought Kevin Samuels meant by a high value man. But as much as they didn't like Kevin Samuels delivery, God bless the, the dead. Now we left with a bunch of disrespectful men that don't even understand the concept that, yes, it's good to have money. But nigga, you just can't be a little disrespectful little weasel. Like, come on, man. Like, I'm gonna, I want y'all ladies to hear this conversation and what we left with now that God rest his soul, that Kevin Samuels is no longer with us. Listen to how these men view this whole high value thing. If you're a high value man, you don't even talk to women like this. You don't disrespect women like this. Like, so what you saying, what these guys now are saying, essentially because you have money, you can just be a disrespectful pompous asshole? No, 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 no. Most high value men are players. They work speak for them. You don't have to tell no goddamn woman, I'm a high value man, I'm a high value man. I'm the prize, I'm the prize. They should be able to see it. They should be able to see it in your walk. They should be able to see it in your talk. They should be able to see it in your business. You shouldn't have to say a goddamn word. Just the way you moving commands that respect. And if they don't get it, because not everybody get it. If they don't get it, a high value man don't take the time to tell them that. They on to the next one, on to the next one. Everybody not going to get it. Why are you taking the time to yell and shout and fuss with a woman if you the pride? You go be the pride for somebody else. And this ain't no diss. Like, I, I guess I'm a bus and I ain't shit. But I always felt like, bitch, you just don't know what I know. But you're going to find out. All this shit you talking, you gonna find out what I, I already know. Cause the next nigga gonna tell you what I told you. Hey man, let's get this bitch ass nigga up out of here. I don't like these niggas keep putting it out. Hey moderators, if they saying people names, if they saying bank names, if they doing all that, get these niggas up out of here. 
You're not doing that, okay? Get these niggas up out of here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put this down. I want you niggas looking at me right now. Let's play this DJ Academic shit real quick. Mostly women, men have to become women just are. I just want to say, man, I, I, I like the fact you, you out here holding people accountable. That's how we got to feel, man. I did a podcast with Sneeko. Sneeko is not about letting no type of bullshit slide. You know, of course, we showed up fashionably late, but you know what I mean? He's just trying to make sure everything was on the up and up. So my nigga Mike Rasheed, Brandon Carter. Get the last boys to read the chats, yo. Get the fuck up out of here. Oh, oh, no, no, wait, that was you. Wait, what? What did it? Oh, 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 yeah, what? Yeah, 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 sure. All right, here you go. I was trying to get past all the other bullshit. Uh, but I just want y'all to see the new high value man. Hold on. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. We're really good. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really good. We've been out with this shit. Are here. you Japanese? I'm being racist right now. You got a small dick because you're Asian. Uh, yo, nigga, wait. Fuck my dick. I got a bigger dick than you, man. Yo, shut the fuck up with your masculine ass boys and read the chats, yo. Get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> so, that is this fella right here. I don't know who this fella is, but this is some Chico DeBarge looking fella who he got offended because this young lady said that he might have a little penis. So, he immediately got offended. I don't know if he actually do it now. I don't give a fuck. But he got offended by her words, so he started picking on her voice. So I'm just like, what the fuck? And so these men have started to believe in this concept of what these niggas say on the internet. You cannot talk to women like this in real life without getting your ass whipped. Most women gonna go to throwing them hands at your ass. But see, they have these women in these controlled environments and they make it seem like this is cool. But let's let this keep going. Cause this was the worst shit I ever seen of masculinity. This woman, they talking about her voice, but she's actually more masculine in her ideology and in her position and her posture than most of these men. And that's what's sad. Not the black, the dark skinned brother. And this brother right here represented for all dark skinned brothers. Cause at the end, you gonna see what he do. This light skinned nigga here, he just smiling and cheating. This is him the whole time. I think I kind of get why women like us dog niggas. We gonna object to shit. Oh, wait, that was you. Wait, what? What? Do you think your voice sound a little masculine or no? Um, it's just a strong woman, and that what it is. Yeah. So you think it's just a strong like? Oh, you sound yeah. strong. So you, know, you sound a little bit like Dusty Lokane though. Like, I'm like <laughs> what the fuck? I'm with you. Like, yeah, I'm speaking another language. Oh, wait, like now this is DJ Academic saying she sound like Dusty Lokane. I don't know what that means. I'm pretty sure it's some cartoon or some other bullshit. But this is DJ Academic, a rich man who should be able to get majority of women. But listen how he sound. Oh, the masculine or no? Um, it's just a strong woman and that's what it is. Yeah. So you say he's just a strong, like, yeah. you sound strong. So you, know, you sound a little bit like Dusty Lokane, though. Like, that's like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it with you, like. Yeah, I'm speaking another language. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. It's now, completely different. I'm only bringing that up because I think on this podcast, they expect, you know, women to be a little bit, you know. More feminine? Being their feminine energy type shit. You want to be your feminine energy? You got a shrimp thick act. <laughs> no, no way to shoot no. dicks. I don't be, if you're rude, I, I will not be nice to you. No, 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 no. I'll be nice to you. So, do, do, do you feel like, you know what I mean, you be like in your feminine energy, like, you know, you know. Feminine just, energy, yes, nurturing, caring. Yeah. Of course, for the people that I love and care. Way you grabbing that mic right now, I look like you, like you, you, you snap some shit off the, hold it. <laughs> hold it. So, you mean to tell me, let's listen to what DJ Academic said again. The way you grab this mic, this is somebody's husband, I mean, somebody's wife. This is a woman that he don't know. And I, I don't know if academics is drinking. I don't know what's going on. But I just ain't never seen a man just come in and just straight start talking crazy to a lady like this that you don't even know. Okay, her voice deep. Okay, you want to rank on that. Okay, she probably, she took the lighthearted jokes very well. But what are we doing? Hold on, hold on. For the people that I love and care. When you grab that mic right now, look like you, like you, you snatched some shit off the holy. <laughs> now, how many of you men would appreciate Academics or any other man telling your wife the way she holding the mic, it look like she a whole lead. How many of y'all would appreciate that? All right, let's let him finish. <laughs> 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 no, 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 I'm just trying to say, listen, now, I, I, okay, okay. So you want like what? What do you? What I just want to know why your voice is that fucking deep. Why? Now your voice is a little deep. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I don't even think was trying to say that. No, it's not. I'm <laughs> smoking. Okay. So the other dude, they like having like a high school back and forth on this grown woman that got a husband. DJ Academics, uh, he said her voice is deep. The other fella said, no, it's not. Because he's hurt about, uh, maybe she was right about him having a small danger. I don't know. But he's upset that she said that so much so 
that they're having like a row session on a woman that they don't even know. They don't even know this lady, but now she becomes the content. Now, academics posture is gonna change. She gonna dig academics back with a joke. And this is what let me know that these niggas can dish it, but they can't take it. Academics is gonna get a little pushback by this woman, and it's gonna change the direction of this interview. It's gonna change everything once he feel like she bust his ass out and everybody laugh at him. It's okay when he making the jokes. It was A-okay when he was laughing, talking shit, and got them hollering about her voice. Now she ain't make one joke yet. These niggas, this is her voice. She can't help the way she sounds. Now, does she have a deep voice? Yes. But am I gonna just a strange woman that I don't know? I just walk in the room talking about how deep her voice is? That's what we doing. So hold up. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 why? Now your voice is a little deep. I'm gonna keep it 100. I don't even think I was trying to say that. No, it's not. <laughs> Pop smoke. Okay. I don't know. Why is it going to make a difference for like never no, no, no. a woman with, 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 with deep voices not here? No, no, no. I don't have a problem. I'm not your man and whoever you fucking, that's not me anyway. And nor is it him. Or is it him? We're just asking. So why the fuck are you talking about it? If it ain't you, and you ain't fucking her, and you ain't doing this, then that should have been the end of the conversation. Like, what we doing here? You're not fucking this woman. She's married. She's not yours. Why do you give a fuck? You this rich ass high value man. Why? Like when does when do high value men start talking shit and picking on women, sounding like grade school type of shit? First of all, you're not picking the uh, the, the the women that can give you some pushback. You ain't picking no motherfucker that got their own and paying for their own bills. Like I don't know what this woman got going on, so let me not make assumptions. But I know goddamn well there's some women that you can pick and say this shit to. And not only you might get your ass whooped. But they not finna sit here and take all this shit that you niggas doing. High value or not. Like, you just don't talk to nobody like this here. So maybe these niggas think just because they got some money that now they can just be disrespectful. But I can tell the type of women these niggas fucking with. Cause nah, home. Nah, home. Also, I know some motherfuckers that ain't got a dollar in their pocket they ain't gonna let you talk to them like this. This ain't no goddamn man shit here. This is some weak ass shit. In general, people probably concerned in the chatter. Oh, she has kids. Yeah. She has kids. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah I, I, I never give a fuck birth. about. I never give a fuck about nobody that fuck anything about my voice yeah. or the way I look or anything like. I, I literally don't okay. care. Okay. Is it your voice or are you uh, are, are you are your actions also kind of match the voice in terms of masculinity? Uh, because I'm alpha. Yeah. Oh, you are alpha. I'm a, uh, oh, I'm shit. a alpha okay. woman. Okay. I'm uh, academics. You might not know this. But yeah, some women feel like they alpha. And some women get you niggas to do whatever they say do. So let's not pretend now. Some of these niggas be crying in the shower over these goddamn women now. And I'm gonna be honest, when I was young, I've been there before. Boy, a woman will make you goddamn change your whole diet, change your friends. Shit, a woman will make you change damn near everything for the right uh, for the right woman. Nigga, you'll change everything. Nigga, the fuck you talking about, nigga? Unless you want to be around a bunch of niggas. This niggas change their religion. Niggas change their job. Niggas change their address. It's niggas that change everything for a motherfucking woman. The fuck you talking about? Unless you want to be around a bunch of hard legs. Only niggas that talk like this is niggas that's trying to uh, impress a bunch of niggas. Nigga for the right woman and a good ass woman, nigga, you supposed to change up something. Now you supposed to bring her into your world. I understand that. But at the end of the day, you got to compromise. Both people got to compromise. I ain't saying be no lick and just do whatever. But nigga, you got to compromise just like she got to compromise. This nigga crazy. Salute the Cino. I see you up in the chat. Salute, homie. Man, when I woke up coughing and shit, I had to listen to Cino. Uh, that shit was funny as hell last night, going off of his live, and shit, I, I got them finally fell back to sleep. So salute to Cino. Dominant, that's what it is. I know you're Spanish, you mean like alpha, like, like the... Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh-oh, Sister T in the house. I see Sister T up in here. Man, salute to everybody. I see Edge up in here. Deron BTV, salute to y'all. Damn, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. Shit, she, there's some motherfuckers in this chat. Uh, got that. <laughs> Shut up, boy, shut up. No, I'm sorry, y'all. No, no, no. Yes, 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 sucker's dick. That's what she said. That's first response. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ba, 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 whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This light skinned nigga is infatuated with penis or something. This nigga can't let go of dick. Ever since she said this nigga had a small penis. Now, she just made an assumption. Now, that's why she took it on the chin when they started making jokes back. She took it on the chin. So cool. 
But damn, bro, you still is infatuated with this woman saying something about dick. This nigga talking about, yeah, she wants you to suck her dick. What's wrong with you, man? Niggas don't say no shit like that, bro. So you just gonna give this woman a penis. You, because she said something about the size of your penis and she don't even know you, you gonna give her a penis now. Now take away, even with the tattoo, this woman is a nice looking young lady. What's up with this nigga, man? He had a light skin battles because they the same complexion and she ain't just got them fawning over him. He having light skin battles or some shit. Salute to your ears, I see you up in this thing. This nigga mad as hell that she done talked about a penis that she ain't even never fucking see. Why is this nigga so mad? Man, this nigga got down. Man, look here. Damn, homeboy. Hold on. Let me see what the hell this noise is. Hold up, hold up, y'all. Let me walk out to the back though. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me grab something. Hold up, hold up. I just heard something. Hold up, y'all. But I think these niggas confirming what she said by the way they acted. Cause she could have said that in the room with me. I wouldn't have said shit. I don't know this lady. She's married. She ain't never seen my penis. So why they so taken aback by what she said? He talking about Carcino, not romantic, don't want to lick a little toe. Everybody don't got to lick a little toe. Feet nasty. But it's some motherfucking so fine. Man, look here. I'll lick the back of your earlobes, goddamn. I'm a country black ass nigga. She, I don't give a fuck. She is. Girl, stop. But anyway. <laughs> but anyway, that's just me. I'm not putting that on everybody else. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not putting that on everybody else. I'll lick the inside of a motherfucker, a beautiful specimen earlobe. I don't give a boy. Let, let me play the video, because this ain't about me. This ain't about me. And we need to stop trying to make this shit about me. Oh, Jamie. Oh, what did I do your husband? What did you do, Jasmine? What I do on husband? Yeah. How does he submit to you? Oh man, hey, listen, her husband should have beat this nigga ass. This nigga talking about how do you how you gonna ask some motherfucker about they, what they husband do? Man, see, I couldn't have no wife. Man, nigga would have interviewed my wife talking like this. Man, oh no, cause see, when I, if I get a wife, then that means she's a part of me. She's a part of my brand. We become one. And nigga, you couldn't talk to me like that. So you you can't talk to my wife like that. No, 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 no. You can't talk to my motherfucking wife like that because I know goddamn well if I was sitting in that room, I would have turned that whole motherfucking table over. You ain't going to talk to me like that. So no, you ain't going to get my wife in no room and be talking to her extra spicy because I'm not present. No, no, no. See, listen, ladies, if I never get married, that's the reason because you're going to be without me because respect. These niggas don't got no respect no more. You'll, you'll be without a nigga like me. Oh no, uh -uh. I think I'm gonna have to have a girlfriend for the rest of my life, so I don't think that, so I don't take it too serious. I wanna do it to him, boo, but because you ain't my wife, I ain't gonna do it to him. So yeah, that'll keep us together. Cause these bitch ass nigga, man, God damn, man. Excuse my language, man. This shit is disrespectful on all fronts. This woman said she got a husband. Why are you still talking to this lady? You ain't read the Bible, nigga? You supposed to get your ass stoned, nigga. So I'm married, so like, it's just the, no, no, just hypothetically. Like, how? Okay. I mean, I, what does your husband? What you do, Jasmine? Jasmine? What I do, my husband? Yeah. How does he submit to you? How? Kissing my feet. Taking you fuck him? me? Do you fuck your husband? <laughs> no. Do you fuck your husband? Nigga, what the? Nigga, that's a fucking husband. Do you fuck him? Do you? Boy, Lord, Lord. You know what? You know what, Kwame? You, this is when you got to go from the hookah and you got to pick your lighter up and you got to see. This is why Mike Tyson is one of my counselors. Mike Tyson, salute to you, Mike Tyson. This is why Mike Tyson CBD. This is why Mike Tyson CBD is one of my counselors. Cause boy, 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 these niggas will make you put foot. Boy, Lord have mercy. God be the glory. You gotta pray when nigga play with you like this here, boy. Her husband so well listen to this shit saying, Lord, woman, if you put me in this situation again, I'm not gonna be here no more. I'm gonna goddamn, yeah, ain't enough money in the world gonna protect this nigga from me. If this nigga, this man, husband, this woman, husband got to see this on a large platform of a nigga like this that's very accessible because he think he got security and whatever. He think he can say whatever to anybody. No, man. Now, ladies, let this be a lesson to you. Fame and, and likes and views is not this important. If this was my wife, I would take issue with her. But because I'm not there in the room, she should be able to move like I would move. Either I would have beat this nigga ass or I would have got up out the room. So I would expect my wife to do the same thing that I would do. So wife of mine, you're not going to sit around and let no man disrespect you like this. You're not going to allow, you're supposed to dead that shit from the beginning. Listen here, nigga, don't ask me no questions about my husband. My husband not present. Don't ask me no questions about my husband. I can call him up here if you want to talk to him. That's what she should have said. Now I can call my husband up here. Now that's the type of wife I want. 
Call me, baby. If this nigga talking this goddamn spicy, call my phone and let's see how fast I get there and let's see if this nigga talk like this when I'm there. Because this ain't how no man is supposed to engage with no woman. And this is not how a woman is supposed to engage with a man. Now, she held herself well in this interview being the fact that she stayed. But my problem would have been if she was my wife, baby girl, we ain't finna look like that for these bitch ass nigga. Why did you stay there? Get up and get gone. I'm mad that you ain't throw your mic at that bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I really do. I ain't promoting violence. I want my wife to throw the mic at that bitch ass nigga and damn to touch you. Hit that nigga in the face with that motherfucking mic. He wanna sit there and talk gangster. Slap that bitch ass nigga with that mic and let's see if he really gonna goddamn check a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slap, throw that mic across the room. Don't get too close to him, baby, because you got a pretty face. And most men in there are supposed to step up after you do what you do. Throw that mic at that Yogi Bear looking motherfucker and see what he do after that. I bet he fold. Kick that bitch ass nigga in the stomach and make him throw up motherfucking Hennessy. I bet he fold. Don't let this nigga talk to you like that. Now, lady, you should have left. That's my only gripe with you. You should have left. But let's keep it going. DJ Academic, you tripping. Nigga, you think money mean too much. Nigga, it's gonna be a broke nigga bending the shit out your goddamn wife, nigga. It's gonna be a nigga with nothing fucking every girl you like, nigga. Cause you don't understand the way this shit work, nigga. You don't talk like that to no goddamn woman. You done lost your goddamn mind. I'm not promoting violence. I'm going with the way of the world. The world say the way that he's talking to a woman is violent. So he, she should be able to be violent with him. That's what the world say. That ain't what I said. I don't say I agree. I'm just saying I think she should have threw the mic at his ass. That's just my opinion. I'm just a dumb ass busty bust. You don't gotta believe in what I say, nigga. Would <laughs> be crazy? No, no, that's a good question because, like, because some it's not bad. Okay. It's, it's a man be willing to do anything for you. Oh, word. Yeah. Holy. That's what it's a man. Okay, so like, this nigga talking about holy, holy. This motherfucker must have came up with some sweet ass holy, holy. Who told you holy? What the fuck does that even mean? Holy. Nigga, you better holy stop that shit. Man, I might not want to play the video games and get in the video game world. How the hell is this woman telling you some real shit and you, holy, holy. This is a sign of a man that never had a girlfriend before he got money. Cause nigga, any nigga know before you had some money in your pocket, nigga, you had to sing, dance, you had to do something to get them women attention, nigga. You think these niggas, what? Well, how you think regular niggas fucking your bitches, uh, DJ Academic? Them niggas come up with a gimmick. Women like thugs, so them niggas being the best thug they can be for. You trying to be the best rich, rich nigga you can be for. It's all the same, you all gonna fuck, nigga. So all this talking, all this, I'm a high value man, I got money, then why your woman fucking broke nigga? You niggas be tripping, nigga. You make me wanna lose everything so I can fuck all you niggas. Man, never mind, shut up, Kwame, shut up. Shut up, man. I, I see right now, I gotta get back in shape. I'm gonna get back in goddamn high value, in shape, fuck a nigga, bitch shape. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show these niggas all this goddamn money talk, you stupid motherfucker. Fat, peel bear, dough boy looking motherfuckers talking about money when a woman trying to come, nigga. What you making your dollar bills and your hundred dollar bills make on that nigga? The fuck is you talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being oh shit. I done went back to goddamn the block. I done forgot that I, I done got saved. I done supposed to be goddamn. Oh shit. Hold on, y'all. Let me reset. Let me reset. I'm tired of these niggas, man, talking all this high value shit. I know a nigga that your high value ass will buy that nigga Android phone or pay for his goddamn Chrysler 300 and his Jordans off your back and your high value ass, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Niggas always talking about high value. You bitch ass high value niggas don't do nothing but pay niggas that ain't got no money. Cause your high value bitch that you fucking nigga. You, you high value but you fucking low value bitches. And your low value bitch gonna fuck what she thinks she is nigga. The fuck you talking about nigga? You niggas always talking about high value but then you at the strip club. If you so motherfucking high value, why the fuck you ain't in high value places nigga? You bitch ass nigga kill me with that shit. That's why I know I can take it. Shut up Kwame. Shut up nigga. Shut Ooh, ooh. Boy, these niggas, boy, these niggas gonna make me goddamn god. You, that's why you niggas always talking about I wonder why. You pompous, arrogant bitches. That's why you always wonder why. Cause I don't act like you, you niggas stupid. I'm gonna talk to a woman that a nigga right around the corner that'll slang some dealing in, give her some money, buy her a car. You might not look at her as a treasure, nigga, but it's a nigga right around the corner. That's the best thing he ever goddamn seen. And you gonna talk to her like that, bitch ass nigga, cause you got some money? Nigga, she'll take your money and give it to that nigga. The fuck you talking about, nigga? She'll take your goddamn money and give it to that nigga. And I was that nigga a couple times, even with some money. Bitch ass nigga, that was you niggas don't know. Fuck you nigga talking, you nigga always mad. Who you giving a millionaire some money? Shut up, bitch. I wasn't always a millionaire, nigga. I know how to get some motherfucking money, nigga. You bitch ass nigga stupid. 
I hang your old lady over that goddamn balcony, nigga, and she'll give me your whole motherfucking wallet, nigga, if I ask her for it. Bitch ass nigga. Cause you you fat. You can't hang no girl over no balcony, nigga. I hang your broad over that goddamn back and nigga pull her hair and make her goddamn love that shit and nigga she'll give me your wallet with your ID nigga. Fuck you talking about nigga. Tired of you bitch ass nigga saying this same stupid ass shit. I'm a high value man. I make money. I make money. Nigga do you got high value? Can you, can you make her think you high value in a bedroom nigga? Yeah. I'm a high value man and I'm a backbeater nigga. Fuck you nigga talking about nigga. They only leave me cause I leave the house too damn much. <laughs> I'm sick, y'all. I done lit up the swagger dad. This ain't this is not my words, y'all. Ladies that I ever been with, I'm sorry. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm not in control of my words right now. I'm having an episode. Mm-hmm. I'm having an episode. I'm having an episode. Leave me alone. Don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I'm sorry, y'all. This is not me. I'm just joking. You have a nigga, you have a nigga like fresh sucking your toes. Yes. <laughs> A nigga like fresh sucking you. Why would you put fresh in it? Look how fresh looking. Why would this nigga put fresh in this shit? He even fresh looking like, man, what the? Fresh looking like, man, what the fuck I got to do with this shit? He looking like, man, what the hell? Why would this nigga put my name in this bullshit he talking about? I'm just here listening. That's the face of, nigga, I don't got nothing to do with this shit. I'm telling you, if, if, if a face got to do with something, that's the face of, nigga, don't put my name in this shit, nigga. <laughs> 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 I told you I got a PhD in this nigga. nigga. That's a face of nigga. Don't put my name in this shit. Don't do not put my my name in this shit. Please don't. That's what that face is right there. <laughs> that's 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 sexy for women. Oh, you my dog. We like what? it. Oh, it's my. We, we know what I'm saying. We're going to chat, man. I have enough of this, oh. man. Because what? Oh, you're fresh out that company. Why? Like. You guys never heard about uh, a dog? I don't even know Like, if, if, yo, listen, I'm, I'm on that finesse two times. Oh, yeah, now, I told you, I got a PhD in these niggas now. I grew up around niggas. I was in a homeless shelter, man. You can't tell me that ain't the bottom of the bottom. I'm not going to let no nigga erase 18 years of my life because I was successful enough and I thought my way past my situation. I dreamed my way past and I'm going to let some bitch ass niggas that ain't accomplished nothing get mad at me for my success and, and, and they can't motherfucking understand that nigga, I overcame the same circumstance that you was in, bitch. Ain't no white man come and save me. Ain't none of that shit, nigga. Don't get mad because you ain't do what I did. You ain't sacrifice what I sacrificed, bitch ass nigga. No, we ain't doing that. You bitch ass nigga want to measure your life to another man. I don't measure my life to another man, nigga. I could have died, nigga. I did what the fuck I had to do, you should have did what the fuck you had to do, nigga. Fuck your celebrity hate. Fuck your celebrity goddamn uh, hysteria. Hysteria, whatever the word is. Fuck all that, nigga. My mama didn't name me a celebrity, nigga. She named me Kwame. That's my motherfucking name. And I did the best with what I had. And it ain't my motherfucking fault you niggas can't understand that you niggas be listening to stupid motherfuckers. That ain't my fault. Type of time and where you never had different types of sex. No, I don't fuck with no chick who sound like a nigga. That's just a hundred. I'm just keeping a hundred with you. Man, come on, man. Hold on, man. Let me hear this shit again, though. If yo, listen, I'm, I'm on that finesse two times type of time and where you never had different types of sex. No, I don't fuck with no chick who sound like a nigga. That's just a hundred. I'm just keeping up. All right, academics. Let's keep it a buck, bro. I'm gonna get on camera for this. Academics. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it 100. Academics. Not only I can tell by the way you sound. You did you wasn't getting no pussy like that, bro. You wasn't getting no pussy. You ain't no pussy getting nigga. You is a nigga who made some money. And that now that you got some money, you making your whole life about money. But nigga, you better understand something. Money come and money go. So if this is how you come in talking to broad and talking to women, only because you got money, what are you gonna do if you don't have none anymore? Oh, uh, you one of them niggas that you think is up and it's stuck. You, you gonna talk like that as a nigga at Sears or as a nigga at, in college or a nigga making 70, 80,000, you would talk like that to a woman? That's how you would talk to a woman, as a nigga making 70, 80,000, that's above minimum. But nigga, your fat chubby ass wouldn't be talking to no woman like that, dog. You wouldn't be talking to no woman like that, bro. Ain't like you no hell of a nigga. Looking at your pasta, most women like tall niggas. You a fat, short nigga. And you talking to women like this? You've been hanging around too many motherfucking rappers, bro. You are not a rapper. You a fat nigga that made some money and you need to start talking like that. Cause no matter what bitch you get, I could be a broke nigga on the side of a road, which that, that ain't gonna happen, but I can still take your girl, nigga. You need to stop talking like that to women, bro, just cause you got some money. 
you niggas are weird that talk like that. A nigga that's fat mouthing and talking like that, and I hear you talk like that in a restaurant or something like that, nigga, I'll break cold and take your woman. I'll slide up on her while she going to the bathroom and be like, look, man, baby girl, when you tired of a nigga disrespecting you like that, call me. Here go my car. And I won't say nothing else to her. And she'll be done called. Because a nigga like you, you're going to run your mouth so much and make her feel so less that she ain't going to have no choice but to run to a nigga like me. You niggas are stupid. This is the way you niggas are talking to women because you make some money? I've been making money since I was a teenager, nigga. This ain't how you talk to no goddamn woman. You niggas crazy. Boy, you niggas better hope I get in a relationship and I stay there. Because you stupid motherfuckers that talk like this, boy, I fuck around and hurt all you niggas hard. I'm in with you. Where is <laughs> No, wait. We not wait. We don't want to that. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> oh, you don't have to because I'm not asking you to fuck No, no, no. Hold on. Exactly. This young lady trying to get this nigga back in order. Bro, you don't have to. You don't have to because I'm not trying to fuck with you. She telling this nigga I'm not trying to fuck with you. So leave me the fuck alone. Why is you still bothering this woman when she's saying leave me the fuck alone? A married woman that's saying, bro, I'm not trying to fuck with you like that. The fuck are you doing? I'm not disrespecting, I'm come correct. No, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to- And she done said, you being disrespect and I'm trying to come correct. This woman got more game than these niggas. This woman trying to tell this nigga, bro, you disrespecting me, I'm just coming correct. I'm just trying to let you know something. Now let me run it back. No, no, hold on. I don't like disrespect and I come correct. And I, you disrespect and I come yeah, correct. I'm, I'm asking how yes, you and your situation get down or people like you. How I'm people, trying to understand How people ask you and I come correct. Well, hold on, y'all. Now, let me show y'all something. DJ Academics is mad because this girl right here agreed with this other girl. Now, DJ Academics think this girl had sex with one of her friends, one of his friends, allegedly. So, DJ Academics, watch this girl agree. Right. No, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to You don't have to, because I'm not asking you to fuck. No, 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 hold on. I don't like this respect, and I've come correct. No, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to respect you. I'm asking how you and your situation. Now she said right, correct, and DJ Academics let it go that time, but he pissed the fuck off. Now watch this. Watch this. Get down or people like you. How trying to understand how people like me? Why don't you sound sad? You sound me. Because of my personality and who I am, not no, because of how it sounds. Like, so she's being honest. She's saying, okay, I may sound like a man. She's saying it. Okay, bro, I, I've heard this before. I might have a deep voice. I may sound like a man, but it's my personality. She's telling him. She's responding to him. But he's so in character. He's so into this, I'm a high-value masculine man, that he's not even listening to the shit this woman is saying to him. Now, there's a lot of times that these women get up here and they listen to what a nigga like DJ Academics and these weak-ass niggas be saying, and they get mad, they get frustrated, they'll lash out. This woman didn't lash out. She said, okay, that's the way I sound, but it's my personality, it's my character. Trying to grow this nigga up, and this nigga still get on some monkey shit. My personality and who I get down or people like you. How people, to understand how people like me? Uh, Why don't you sound sad? You just sound asking me. Because of my personality and who I am, not oh, because of how it sounds. Like, True. That's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay. So we're going to move on now. That's uh, some more chats here. There we go. We got, I, man. Nigga came on here, turned the bitch up, man. <laughs> if you don't get mad. Uh, I love okay. music. These chicks be having a mental warfare with their girls, and she speaks. Talk less. Wait. Which manly ass women. Mm -hmm. That's really not manly here, baby. At Ooh. all. Talk to him, sis. Sis, talk to him. Sis, 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 talk to that nigga. Go, queen. So DJ Academics is uh, saying, talk to that nigga. The, the light-skinned guy, Chico the Bar, said, manly-ass women. This is Chico the Bar's. Uh, no, this ain't Chico the Bar. This is the guy who said, manly-ass women. And all she said was, this woman hadn't said nothing the whole time. So the theme, it seems like, when they bring women on this show, is to get a woman out of her character and unruly through disrespect and then get these women to act disrespectful. But this woman was trying to bring them back to the reality of, hey, I haven't said anything this whole time. So let's not represent me by what you're saying to everybody on this panel. So she said, definitely not all disrespectful women. So I don't know how this podcast is ran, so I'm not gonna pretend I do, but that's what I think, that the, that the energy in the room is showing me. So this is not a fact, this is what I'm observing as I am doing my observation on this show. 
And it's a lot of disrespect hurled towards women. And men can say whatever they want to say. But this young lady didn't say a word this entire time. So all she's trying to do is say, hey, I don't have nothing to do with what's going on. Don't disrespect me and lump me in no goddamn group. So that's why I start respecting women that say not all. Because just like this woman is saying, she sat there and didn't say nothing. So why are you going to paint her in this whole group with everybody else? So let's go back. So we can't say Kwame is lying. See, he said manly ass women. Let's go back. Talk to him, sis. Sis, talk to him. Talk to that nigga. Go, queen. That's all I gotta say. Go on, sis. Don't let that nigga do that. Check that fuck nigga. Check that fuck nigga, okay? Now, check this out. This woman did not take the battery in her back. DJ Academics was trying to tell her, check that fuck nigga. Talk to him, sis. Man, I respect that. That woman say, that's all I got to say. I'm not trying to argue with you niggas. I see what you niggas trying to do. I'm not manly at all. I didn't do nothing manly. I wasn't saying nothing. I ain't saying a motherfucking thing. I'm not manly at all. I'm quiet. These niggas are trying to say things to piss women off to get clicks and views and sound bites, in my opinion. Because I can't see why any man would have a regular, natural, good faith conversation with a woman and have it like this and think that it's gonna be a good outcome. Ain't no niggas having no conversation with women like this. If you trying to get some, nigga, you want some player shit. You talking like a player. You trying to goddamn show what you got or uh, move around and, and you know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to argue with no bro. These nigga weird. This woman held her position. I don't know who this lady is, but I like this lady. They tried to pay her out to be the angry black woman. This lady stayed in her posture. She don't agree with what's going on in this motherfucker. And she said, nope, I'm just gonna correct this one point and then I'm gonna stop talking. You're not gonna put no battery in my back. It's not no ghost is. It's not no, I'm gonna act ratchet and give you a storyline. I'm just gonna let you know that it's not all of us. Cause this shit is sad, this picture they trying to paint now. Yeah, it's some woman, that, women that behave ratchet and not good, but you ain't finna start promoting that like it's all women. When you niggas up here acting like a bunch of fucking bitch ass niggas, sitting here disrespecting women, talking like a bunch of schoolgirls, bragging about shit that you got, when them women don't care nothing about that shit, nigga. That's why you niggas be heartbroken when you spend all that goddamn money and buy them everything they want and they still fuck a nigga that's walking. When they buy your goddamn, when they buy the side nigga some drawers, you niggas be mad. But you want to talk to them like this and wonder why they buy the side nigga George and pay his cell phone bill. Bitch ass nigga, that's the least they can do. At least she can call and that nigga listen to him. Your bitch ass talking about your money all day. When she called that nigga that she bought that Android phone for, that nigga listen to everything she say. Your bitch ass want to tell her about how much money you got. Damn, Dwarf has a lot of nerve. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel bad when the motherfucker. Yeah, hey cuz. Hey, cuz, man, take all these nigga girls, cuz. Get you 10 Android phones and get them to pay for all of them. I got some cousins, nigga, they ain't paid a phone bill in 10 years, and this girl's paying for it, yeah. I got some goddamn cousins and friends that I know that, goddamn it, it's a girl paying and subsidizing their whole goddamn life like the rest of you, nigga. They done bought their truck and company. Their first truck came through a woman. Yeah, that nigga goddamn got out of jail and goddamn got his first box truck through his woman, nigga. Not none of you bitch-ass niggas. You niggas always got something to say. You niggas always talking that shit like it's all. It's some fucked up women, but why you keep giving fucked up women so much attention? Why you bitch ass good ass nigga can't give some of these good ass women some attention? I done met some good ass women. Stop going to certain places in certain areas and you'll stop running into gutter trash. Like goddamn Sister T said. Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Don't let that nigga do that. Check that fuck nigga. Check that fuck nigga, okay? Eddie Chris is here and says, hey, get question for you. Can we get Andy Tate talk Gene interview part two real soon? Yeah! I'm about to take my own pillow and do some all fucking <laughs> Chris, nigga. You should, bro. You should. Nigga. Tony Bomber says, you lost. And Xmar says, best FNL show ever, AK, Mike Rasheed, Brandon Carter, Seiko, thank you. Yeah. And by the way, can I give a shout out to my nigga, Mike Rasheed? Yeah. That's a fact. Uh, I mean, it's 
Baby. Somebody in the chat say a good woman will make you look in the mirror, and that's what these niggas don't want to see. Sometimes these good women gonna tell you, hey man, I know you might think you all that, but you ain't shit. Yeah, yeah, you fuck good and all that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I done had some other niggas fuck me good. See, them niggas can't handle that shit now. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah, all that fucking good is cool. Yeah, yeah, I done had some other niggas that fuck good. They long too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they had jobs and shit. They had other shit that you ain't got. Yeah, them niggas can't handle that shit. Them niggas, they make a grown man cry when you tell them that. Yeah, yeah, all that shit you just did. Yeah, yeah, I done had that before. Uh huh, and I left his ass too. Yeah, them niggas, them niggas can't handle no shit like that. <laughs> them niggas bust out crying. What? I ain't the best? <laughs> mama! Them niggas call for their goddamn mama. You got that one of you ladies tell them the real truth that you barely like they motherfucking ass that you trying to work with them. Shit. I'm trying to tell you. You women goddamn got these niggas fooled. If you start telling these niggas, bitch ass nigga, I don't give a fuck that you give me some money. Your, your cousin gave me some money, and your friend gave me some money, and the rest of them niggas around here offered me some money. So now what? You still think it's about your goddamn money? Because everybody you done uh, introduced me to offered me some money and told me you wasn't shit. So that would be happening. You niggas think you all goddamn that. And goddamn, most of the niggas you introduce your goddamn fine ass girl to, they got them trying to make side deals with her and tell her everything your dumb ass doing. Stupid motherfucker. That's why I don't hang with no goddamn body. <laughs> Not that I do anything anymore, but I'm just saying because I used to and uh, yeah It's girls out here that smart as a motherfucker. They'll befriend your best friend Yeah, show that nigga some leg or something to make sure that nigga tell everything you doing Stupid motherfucker. You taking the nigga with you fuck a cell phone you taking your homeboy with you Yeah, he might not be snitching to the court, but that nigga snitching to that old lady of yours that he won't Yeah, y'all nigga talking about y'all got friends you heard what that one nigga said about all his friends, what he was doing. Yeah, my friend, he fucked her, he fucked her, yeah. That's my friend, he fucked her, I don't care. Yeah, nigga, fuck that, nigga. I get, boy, look here, I get a badass style, and I don't never take her around them niggas. I take her everywhere she want to go. Where you want to go, baby? Yeah, we can go. God damn sure ain't taking you where I'm used to going. Uh-uh. Where you want to go, baby? Uh-uh, let's go. Yeah, baby, I love it. I love that you want. I like to do all this shit. I don't like none of that shit we doing. But you ain't going around these niggas. <laughs> she think I'm a good man. Bitch, I just not going to bring you around these goddamn Wolverines I know. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> I'm just not bringing you around these motherfucking Wolverines I know. Fuck you mean. I'm doing all this shit. You might think I like walking in the park. Bitch, I hate park. <laughs> but to keep you away from these niggas, bitch, I love these park. Fuck you talking about. I love parks. I love dolphins. I, I like swimming with the motherfucking dolphin. But yeah, long we ain't going around these Wolverines, motherfucker. Because when I leave the house, you ain't going to have nobody to motherfucking call. Yeah, a lot of you dumb ass niggas, you bring around your homeboy, you bring around your best friend, you bring around the nigga house you like to go to when you get away. Them women don't bring you around nobody's house when they like to get away. You don't know none of her friend number. You don't know none of her homeboys, her homegirls, you don't know shit. All you know is you better check in. Yeah, I ain't checking in. When I got that lead to got that house, it's a mystery. Just like it's a mystery with her ass lead. Motherfucker, you don't know all my friends. You can call one or two of them, motherfucker. Shit, you don't know all my goddamn friends. Uh-oh. -uh. Shit. When I leave, I'm gone. Stop worrying, motherfucker. I'm all right. When you leave, I ain't worried. The dice gonna do what the dice gonna do. <laughs> Shit. Fuck all that. Let, let me know all your friends. Them women be tricking you niggas. I need to know everything about you. <laughs> all them honey badges, all hell no. Yeah, them women know. These women in the chat know exactly what I'm talking about. Cause all you bitch ass niggas done introduced them to y'all friends and they done been flirting with them the whole goddamn time. All y'all friends flirting with y'all wives and old ladies. No lies told. Don't know where the hell they got it at. They go at. <laughs> no, you don't know where the hell a woman go. A woman gonna tell you. They gonna tell you this right here. This don't be they afraid. I'm about to go run some errands. <laughs> you know how many girls I done met up with, but they told they nigga they running errands and shit. I love when a woman run errands, cause I'm one of they motherfucking errands. They gonna run right into the curb, to a tree stump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here, nigga. While your old lady running errands, she done ran that car up on a tree stump, nigga. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, it done fucked my mind up so much, I don't even like to hear my old lady telling me, you running errands, bitch, I'm gonna run with you. Uh-uh, hell no. You about to start a fight telling me you about to run an errand. Many errands I done ran with these nigga girl. Fuck you mean you running errands, bitch. We don't run no errands uh, separate. We run errands together. Now, where we gotta go? Post office to the bank? Uh, yeah, a loving man go with his woman everywhere. Fuck you mean. Where the hell you going at, girl? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gonna run some motherfucking errands, all right? We gonna hunt one, hunt two. Yeah, we gonna, you done ran into a motherfucking tree stump. Yeah, sure no. No motherfucker, hey, he talking about that why I stay single. But I'm trying to tell you bullshit. And then, listen, your old lady say she wanna be at the altar and your wife. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, I, I got a cousin, right? That nigga. I better got there. I better got them change the topic. Kwame, you know too much. Nah, Kwame, Kwame got there no real life though. You can't tell a nigga nothing. Most niggas got that Kanye vibe. You can't tell me nothing. You heard I lost the Tammy song. Contact with YouTube legal. All right, so that's part one. All right, so that's part one. Part two is when KB really, really goes off on um, on on academics, man. So make sure if you are new to this channel, y'all hit that subscribe button. And trust me, you definitely want to listen to part two because because part two, yo, KB is about to go off off. But salute to KB. Keep doing your thing, and uh, <laughs> woo, it's about to get spicy on part two. It's your boy Dan D signing out. Peace.